Hello people of YouTube, it's Deepak here and welcome to DCS World 2.8.2 and Heat Blur Simulations F14B Tomcat Module. Welcome to Tutorial 8, Unguided Bombs. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to drop standard unguided bombs. Uh, the F-14 can carry the Mark 80 series of bombs along with rock eyes uh, and also the Mark 82 Air. Uh, today I'm just carrying standard Mark 82s on the bomb racks uh, in the tunnel in between the two engines. It's possible to carry bombs on pylons 3, 4, 5 and 6, which uh, numbered left to, to right are these uh, rows of pylons that you have in the tunnel in between the two engines. And uh, on pylon 3 you can carry 4 Mark 82s as you can see here. And on pylons 4 and 5 in the middle you can carry 3 and on pylon 6 you can carry another 4. So that gives you quite a, quite a serious loadout of weapons for a total of 14 Mark 82s. So today we're going to cover the basics of dropping these weapons both in CCIP and CCRP. In the F-14, CCRP is called Computer Target. So without any further ado, let's uh, unpause and jump into the cockpit here. Uh, now the first bit of setup we're going to have to do is going to be in the back seat. So I'm going to go into Active Pause. Going to jump into the back seat and uh, let Iceman deal with flying the aircraft. Uh, I'll uh, zoom down on the armament panel on the left hand side of the Rio's cockpit and this is where all of our initial setup is going to happen. So when you're going to drop air to ground weapons, the first stage is to select the weapon type using this little rotary in this window here. You'll see that it's defaulted to Mark 82L for low drag. Uh, you have options for all manner of weapons here. Mark 82H for high drag, uh, 81s both high and low drag. You can turn it off entirely. Uh, and then <laughs> There's a few that are not set that just say turn. Um, so yeah, we'll keep turning it this way. Uh, Mark 83s, Mark 84s, we've got rockets and so on. So for today's drop I want to make sure that I have Mark 82L selected. The next thing we want to check is the attack mode. Now the only two modes that we're going to be using for unguided weapons are pilot uh, drop mode which is the CCIP or the computer target mode which is CCRP. I'll uh, demonstrate CCIP first so we'll leave it in pilot mode. Uh, you then have the delivery modes uh, as selectable here, uh, so you can step or ripple. Step means that you'll only ever drop one bomb, ripple means you'll drop uh, a stick of bombs based on the delivery options below. Uh, I'm going to set ripple for today, and then you have singles and pairs. So if you had it step and single, each time you press pickle you're going to get one bomb. If you had it in step and pairs, each time you press uh, pickle you're going to get two bombs dropping symmetrically. Uh, and then if it's ripple pairs, you're going to get a ripple of pairs, funnily enough. Yeah, I'm going to go actually ripple single. That should give us a nice long line of bombs. Uh, then you've got the mechanical fuse. You've got nose and tail, safe, or just nose. Uh, for the Mark 82s, I'm going to leave it in nose and tail for redundancy. Uh, electronic fuse. Uh, for the Mark 82s, you're, you're always going to leave this on instantaneous. But for other types of weapon, uh, you may have other types of fuse that you can set here. Uh, we then have the delivery options below that. You've got interval and quantity. Uh, the interval is in tens of milliseconds. Uh, and then the quantity, of course, is the total quantity we're going to drop. Uh, I'm going to do a, a drop of four weapons. And uh, I might actually bump this out a little. Let's have, um, let's have ten milliseconds between each one. And then the last thing that the Rio has to do is to select the stations. Now, like I said, these bombs are on stations 3, 4, uh, 5 and 6. Uh, I'm just going to select all of them, and that means that the, the system will automatically drop a symmetric load uh, from that set of pylons. You could, if you wanted to, deselect certain pylons if you want to ensure that you're only dropping from particular ones. But we'll, we'll select all four for the purposes of this drop. Okay, now uh, back into the front cockpit. And in the front cockpit, we're going to go ahead and set master arm to on. Uh, and then down on my displays control panel, I'm going to make sure that I have air to ground master mode selected. And with that done, after a short delay, we will get uh, a bunch of symbology on the HUD here. So um, 
Most important thing is ORD. That lets you know the ordinance has been selected. That means the Rio has done his job in the back seat. You then have the bomb fall line here, and you have your flight path marker. Uh, you also have this thing called the armament datum line up at the top. Uh, that's really just pointing where your aircraft is pointing. Last thing to note is that in air to ground master mode you have an altimeter displayed in your HUD because of course it's quite important to pull up before you hit the ground. Uh, this is in thousands of feet uh, with a, a little thing here denoting 10,000. You can see right now we're at probably something approaching 11,000 based on that correct. But if we look at our actual altimeter, yep yeah, that's correct, we're at about 11,000. So, um, I will now demonstrate one of these drops. Uh, the, the basic um, employment is that we're going to usually want to dive towards the ground at about 40 degrees nose down. Uh, we will have a cross with a dot that will appear somewhere on the bomb fall line. We want to hold that on the target, press and hold the pickle button until all the bombs are away, and then we want to pull out. You may also notice that on the bomb fall line, you can get a kind of U-shaped indicator. Uh, that is the, um, that's the pull-up cue. And if you find that uh, your flight path marker approaches that, then it's time to pull up before you hit the ground. Okay, so here I'm diving towards the target. I just want to put my cross on the target, press and hold pickle, and pull away. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. Um, and you saw there that I got the pull-up cue uh, just near the end there. As the pull-up cue approaches the flight path marker, you must pull up, otherwise you're probably going to crash. <laughs> so, um, we're now going to try the... Uh, the computer target mode which is CCRP and rather than jumping into the back cockpit again although you could jump into the cockpit and flip this selector to target instead I'm gonna ask Jester to do it for me if I go to air to ground set bomb delivery mode and I select computer target you got it. he will make that change for me and straight away we can see the change of symbology. I now have a diamond flashing over the top of my flight path marker, or at least I do when I'm straight and level. Uh, this is the target designator diamond, and I can move this up and down the bomb fall line using target designator up and down. If I push target designator forward, that will designate a point on the ground and allow me to conduct a CCRP attack. So I can either dive towards the target or I can use the target designator up and down to move that diamond. I'm just going to move it like that onto the bomb fall line and designate. I'm going to pause very quickly so that we can take a little look at the symbology here. You'll see that I've got a short uh, solution queue that's already passed me and went down. Um, what I need to do is fly my flight path marker as close to the horizon and as close on the bomb fall line as I can. A wider solution queue is going to start falling down the bomb fall line shortly and that will um, initiate a drop if I press and hold pickle as it passes the flight path marker. Also note that in air to ground mode I've got my altimeter on the right hand side here, uh, thousands of feet. Uh, with uh, 10,000 marked with the 10. Right, let's give this a go. I'm going to unpause. I'm pushing and holding pickle. And I'm trying to hold that flight path marker as best I can. Bombs are away. I'm going to climb out. And let's see how effective this drop is going to be. CCRP is generally going to be less accurate. Uh... That wasn't too bad though, that was somewhat close to the target. Uh, you really have to hold that on as best as you can uh, in order to get as an, ac an accurate as possible drop there. So uh, that is uh, the, the two different ways that you can employ unguided bombs in the F-14B, CCIP and CCRP, otherwise known as computer target. I hope that you all enjoyed that. If you haven't already, please subscribe, like and comment. It's a really big help to me and to the channel. Uh, you also have the option of joining Deep Hack's ground crew by clicking join below. Uh, thank you very much to those who've already done so. Frantic Stone, Mr. Yeti, Griff Nizzle, Chandro Hedgevald, J.R. Walker, Mangash, Channel Wright, Storm Kimbari, Byron Farrow, Leo Netzel, Harish Rajan, Pink Floyd, Bread, and Tier Zero. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all next time.